Hi PJ, this is Dmitry from J Design Pro. I've just watched your video on how to model a golden ribbon pendant. And if you don't mind, I would like to share, in my opinion, a simpler and more flexible way to create this shape. I respect what you do and I've learned a lot from watching your tutorials. Thank you. And that's why I'm recording this video for you now. In my courses, I teach students to primarily use those transformations that are close to real work as much as it possible, like it could be done in the workshop in metal. And the second important point is that I try to keep the model in the editing state as long as it possible using both parametric tools in Grasshopper and historical dependencies in Rhino. And uh, this is what I would like to demonstrate. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, this is Rhino 8, but I don't think it's crucial. And if you don't mind, I wouldn't follow your sketch exactly, I'm just showing you the method. And I create simple rectangular shape and add some angles on the ends and copy and mirror. Then trim everything here like this. Okay, and join and it's done. Now I want to create a solid with the extrusion tool like this. Okay, this is the solid shape and you created fillets, but I prefer having a smoothie shape with sub D tools uh, with the quadri mesh. So you can use quadri mesh and as long this shape has a symmetry axis, I turn on X and Y here and preview and hide input object, delete input objects and convert to sub D. Okay, done. It's super smoothy. Okay, move it down and it's time to create basic curve like this. With this tool, I create simple curve and mirror copy and trim the ends and join and delete this point and shape it up a little like this and like this. You can uh, shape this form in the future. Um, as you can see, I'm going to create a surface to transfer that form onto that surface with the flow along surface tool. So it is going to be bonded together with the historical dependencies. And then I'm going to create the profiles here and profile here and copy this profile on the other side. Super. And then I can rotate it with Gumball in object mode, maybe like this, or maybe like this. And this one. Okay. And then I create sweep one rail surface. Rail profiles. Okay, it's done. You can adjust anything here, but it is not needed. Okay, I want to shape this form just a little like this and maybe like this. Okay, super. Now uh, it's time to create basic surface with a rectangular surface from this corner to this corner and transfer it with a flow along surface like this from here to here. Okay, super. Now you can hide that surface and control this shape just with the profile curves like this. Okay, now maybe you want it to be this way or this way. You see, it's absolutely controllable thing. And 
also you can make it overlapping and flat here and a little bit like this okay and if you want you can make the ends different or wider like this and you can also make it go one over another it's uh, more natural okay super as you can see you can control everything here and it's easier and a faster way so here you go and i'm really interested to hear your opinion in the comments below thanks for watching and take care bye